Hello, thank you for watching my videos again. And today we will be cooking a dish called uh, albondigas, which are uh, Mexican meatballs. Um, I make this dish with uh, two types of meats, which is beef and pork. I like to combine those two. So the albondigas come out uh, moist and uh, delicious. Um, I also use chipotle chilies, which makes it a little spicy. Uh, but that's optional, you can leave that out. Um, and all the veggies um, that I put in makes it a complete meal. I pair it with rice. Um, so I hope you guys like that dish. Um, and thank you for watching again. Uh, please subscribe to my channel and like the videos. And I'll show you step by step on how to make the albondigas. Thank you for watching. So here we have all the ingredients for uh, the Mexican meatballs. Um, I have a pound and a quarter of uh, ground beef and I also have a pound and a quarter of uh, ground pork. The reason why I have both is because I like my meatballs to come out really moist um, and not too hard. So I added um, a little bit of a powder, a garlic powder. I will add um, some um, steak seasoning for just the flavor. And it's up to you, whatever seasoning you wanna use, you're welcome to do that. I'm also gonna have add um, an egg. And I'm gonna make that, uh, I'm gonna mix it in just um, a little bit. Um, the rest of the ingredients here, uh, we have four uh, vine tomatoes here, two garlics, we have a spoon, a whole spoon of um, chicken powder or nor, four garlic, uh, I'm sorry, four uh, bay leaves, some uh, carrots chopped, uh, onion chopped, and some uh, celery all chopped in uh, tiny pieces. So eventually I will be showing you what I will be using um, in what order. So stay tuned, thank you. All right, so here again, we are starting to cook our um, albondigas or our meatballs, the Mexican meatballs. So I have a little bit of canola oil in here um, and it's actually ready uh, for me to drop the onion in here. So I'm gonna brown the onion and I'm also gonna brown um, the celery. I have one stick of celery um, in this little container here. And we're just going to let it uh, brown for just, um, I want to say, a few minutes. In the meantime, I'm going to actually make the sauce that I need for um, the albondigas. Um, so I will show you in just a second what ingredients I'm going to use. All right, and here I'm about to make the sauce for the albondigas. So I have the, I'm going to add the tomatoes in the blender, all four. I'm also going to add the gar garlic, the garlic cloves. I have a spoon of nor that I'm going to blend all that in. And one thing um, I do like to use in my albondigas is the um, uh, chipotle chilies. Um, it gives a really nice flavor to the sauce here. Um, so I'm going to add two, uh, two of the chilies here, maybe three, because I like my albondigas to be a little spicy. And you feel free to use the sauce too um, of these, um, you know, adobo chilies. They're really, really good. Um, so once I'm done doing that, this is optional, by the way. Uh, with all these ingredients, you're going to have a lot of flavor. Uh, but this just gives it um, a little bit of spice and, you know, that smoky flavor that you want for the albondigas. So I'm going to blend this for about... I don't know, a minute maybe. I did have uh, 16 ounces of water in here just because you want your albondigas to be um, saucy or you know almost like in a in a soup kind of like soupy so now I'm going to add all these ingredients in here where I had the onion and the celery and um, we're going to add the 
carrots to add a little more veggies to the meal. I'm also gonna add the bay leaves. And after that, I'm just gonna add, um, start adding the meatballs. So I mixed all the, you know, the meat together, the beef and the pork, and whatever seasoning you wanna use. Another um, herb that you can use in here is mint. Um, if you have mint or if you have um, basil, you can use either or. I didn't have it this time, but um, this should actually be really uh, flavorful. So you're just gonna drop the meatballs in here. And um, people use also um, rice in the meat. Um, I'm not gonna do that just because I'm gonna serve the meatballs or the albondigas with um, over rice, which I already made earlier. So I have the albondigas here. I'm gonna cover this and I'm gonna let it cook for another 20 minutes and I'm gonna check on it again um, once that time is you know, gone by. See you. And our delicious albondigas are done. Look at that, it looks so good and it smells so good. We have some rice here that I cooked earlier. So that's how we're gonna serve them.